Welcome ladies and gentlemen to our very first product showcase. This will be a series which we go over all of the systems we're currently designing for our retail store and coincidentally actually are available for purchase. Today we're kicking it off with our aptly named Praying Mantis series. The aim of this particular system was to essentially provide our customers with a mini ITX water cooled system, one that was both high performance and also had an acceptable thermal output. So in comes the NZXT Manta, a mini ITX chassis capable of catering to all of our water cooling needs, but also providing enough room for a beefy gaming system. The Manta was the perfect choice for the system. Now taking a look inside the rig itself, we have an i5-6600 at 3.3GHz sitting on a Gigabyte B150N Mini ITX motherboard. We went for this combination as it offered a good compromise between price and performance. We really wanted to hit that $3000 mark and not go too much over it and the B150N600 non-K edition allowed us to do just that. Now you can't overclock on the Gigabyte B150 uh, but if you wanted to really take advantage of the benefits of having a water cooled rig and overclock then you could very well swap out the CPU for a K edition and the motherboard for an Asus Pro Gaming Z170i. We also included 8GB of Corsair Vengeance DDR4 RAM at 2400Hz and a GTX 980. This is a fairly standard gaming combination allowing for both solid performance at both 1080p and 1440p gaming at a good price. If you wanted to up your performance game though you could easily fit in a GTX 980 Ti or even a Titan if you felt so inclined. That's part of the beauty of the Amanda case is that it is quite flexible. For storage, there is an Intel 535 series 240GB SSD. It fits quite snugly behind the reservoir and in my opinion looks pretty damn cool, giving a nice contrast to the loop fluid. 240GB will be enough for an OS, a few programs and games, but adding in an extra SSD or M.2 for your Steam library would definitely be a wise investment. Lastly we have the PSU which is a Silverstone Strider series 550W 80 Plus Platinum and Modular Power Supply. Also cable management in the Manta is definitely something to consider but I think the team of builders here did a great job in keeping everything tidy in such a small case. Now for the interesting stuff, the water cooling. We based the water cooling kit off the pre-existing P240 kit but tweaked a few things where we thought there could be some improvement. For example, instead of the Supremacy Evo CPU block which is a transparent block, we opted for the blackout nickel version partially because this matched the rest of the box but to also give it a more blacked out stealth appearance. All of the water cooling gear we used was from EK and that's really just due to EK making some really great quality components and they look fantastic. The night sky backplate for the GTX 980 is probably my favourite piece of kit in the entire build. For the rest of the plumbing we used an X-Res 140 Revo D5 pump that actually comes with an integrated reservoir and as you can see fixed quite snugly in the Manta. We also used a 40mm thick PE240 radiator with an FPI of 19 in a split fin design. For the radiator we actually swapped out the stock fans for some Noctua Industrial 2000 PWMs as they just gave better performance and are a bit quieter. So now you know the ins and outs of the system exactly how cool is it? With IDA64 running for 20 minutes and the fans set to a normal speed within the Gigabyte BIOS, we achieved a max core temperature of 37 degrees. Running Unigen Heaven and Valley yielded a max temperature of 50 degrees on the GPU with load being at 100%. While this isn't as icy cool as some of our other systems, you do have to take into consideration this is a mini ITX chassis, so there isn't much room for airflow. For a mini ITX case though, I'd say this system is a very, very capable performer. Overall, I am very impressed with this little water cooled beast. I love the design aesthetic and I absolutely love the Manta case. Given that there are a ton of available colors or with various trim options, there should be a case up there to match your particular taste while remaining fairly unique. Another thing I really enjoyed about this case was just how small it is compared to my Define R5 which I currently have on my desk. Having the Manta on my desk really made a big difference as to how open and free my workspace felt. What I would like to know though are your thoughts, let us know in the comments below if you actually like the build, what you'd change if you were to build it and what kind of builds you'd like to see in the future. Who knows, if one of them catches our eye, we may make a video on it. If you were curious as to what kind of customization options are available, changing the fittings, fluid, storage or well anything really, then check out our website or get in touch with us at www.computerlounge.co.nz. Thank you very much for watching guys, this is Matt from Computer Lounge, 
signing out.